हे एवरीबडी सो आज हम पढ़ेंगे जेनेटिक मटीरियल के बारे में वॉट इज़ जेनेटिक मटीरियल वी कैन सी दट दिस जेनेटिक दिस कॉन्सेप्ट दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल कॉन्सेप्ट इज़ अ फंडामेंटल और वी कैन सी द फाउंडेशन फॉर एनी लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिलेटेड टू रिप्रोडक्शन और रिलेटेड टू इनहेरिटेंस और रिलेटेड टू यू नो सेल डिविजन इन इन शॉर्ट लाइक वी कैन सी दैट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज़ अ फाउंडेशन फॉर दी यू नो ऑल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ बायोलॉजी ओके सो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आर टू अंडरस्टैंड यू नो दिस टॉपिक यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल फर्स्ट ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द जेनेटिक मटीरियल वट इज दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल यू नो लाइक इस जेनेटिक मटीरियल को हम ब्लू प्रिंट वी कैन सी दैट इट इज़ अ ब्लू प्रिंट ब्लू प्रिंट और वी कैन सी द कंट्रोलर ओके कंट्रोलर बिकॉज यू नो दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल है दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल हैज़ अ इन्फॉर्मेशन इट कैरीज अन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट यू नो द स्पीसीज अबाउट एनी थिंग ओके इन फैक्ट दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल इज द वन दैट गिवस एवरी इंडिविजुअल और एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म टू इट्स आइडेंटिटी इट्स आइडेंटिटी ओके सो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू नो दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल एज आई सेट इट इज़ इन ब्लू प्रिंट और द कंट्रोलर सो लेट सी हाउ वट मेक्स दिस जेनेटिक मटीरियल ओके ये जेनेटिक मटीरियल किससे बनता है इट इज़ योर न्यूक्लिक एसिड न्यूक्लिक एसिड जेनेटिक मटीरियल इट इज़ मेड अप ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड वी हैव टू काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड येस वी हैव टू काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड दैट इज योर वन इज योर डी एन ए एंड दी अदर वन इज योर आर एन ए ओके डी एन ए एंड आर एन ए द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डी एन ए इज डी ऑक्सी राइबो डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आर एन ए इज राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड द फुल फॉर्म दिस आर एन ए इज राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड वी कैन लाइक वी नो दैट यू नो दिस डी एन ए इज़ वेरी यू नो इन मोस्टली इन ऑल लिविंग फॉर्म्स इफ इज इफ वी सी टू डेज वर्ल्ड मोस्टली इन ऑल लिविंग फॉर्म्स द जेनरिक मटीरियल इज डी एन ए यू कैन से नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म यू नो ऑफ ऑल ऑर्गेनिज्म हैव डी एन ए एज अ जेनेटिक मटीरियल वेर एज आर एन ए यू नो सम वायरसेज not every viruses not all viruses but some viruses they have genetic material in the form of rna so we can say rna also contributes in this uh, matter right in this genetic material concept so yes uh, dna and rna and you know if we talk about why dna is more uh, more act as a uh, why dna if we talk about why dna is you know genetic material in uh, majorly or in we can say in every organism why it is all because what it is all because of uh, because of its stability okay so dna is more stable dna is more stable than rna rna is more reactive rna is more reactive more reactive okay so uh, and you know yes nucleic acid right uh, by talking about this while talking about nucleic acid you know while talking about genetic material we're talking about this dna and rna uh, we have to understand this uh, this two topic okay this two word that is your nucleo nucleotides and nucleosides nucleosides so what is nucleotide and what is nucleoside nucleotide is made up of sugar uh, sorry nucleotide is made up of sugar sugar nitrogenous base nitrogenous base and phosphate whereas nucleoside is only made up of sugar and nitrogenous nitrogenous base okay and in between them there are certain bonds we have to understand that bond okay between nitrogenous base and sugar there is this bond called an glycosidic bond an glycosidic bond and between sugar and phosphate there is this ester bond this is ester bond and since this ester bond is made up of what phosphate and there are two ester bond in this phosphate makes two ester bond with one sugar and the other sugar the other sugar so that is why we can say that it is a phosphodiester bond it is a phospho phospho diester bond okay phosphodiester bond so yes this is nucleotide and this is nucleoside but dna or rna we can say both the nucleic acid it is made up of this okay it is made up of this uh, nucleotides we can write like it is nucleotide uh, sorry genetic material genetic material genetic material is made up of what nucleotides not nucleosides okay and uh, uh, talking about this nitrogenous base okay uh, talking about this nitrogenous base uh, dna have adenine thymine cytosine and guanine where uh, guanine g whereas uh, you know the rna have what rna have this rna have adenine 
uracil in place of thymine RNA have uracil and cytosine and guanine okay so this is a very important uh, difference that we have to uh, know that you know DNA has what DNA has thymine whereas RNA has what uracil okay this is another reason why uh, you know one of the reason why RNA is more reactive RNA is more reactive than DNA and the other reason is the sugar sugar okay sugar uh, this sugar is pentose sugar okay pentose sugar meaning it has uh, five carbon in this sugar uh, it, there are five carbon atom but the name of the sugar is ribose it is ribose sugar okay ribose sugar so in case of dna in case of dna dna uh, have this kind of uh, ribose sugar okay dna have this kind of ribose sugar where three dash oh where uh, where in both three dash and uh, two dash there is this oh uh, there is this oh oh sorry it is in case of rna okay it is in case of rna but in, it is uh, but in case of the uh, your dna dna have only three dash oh but no uh, two dash oh okay in in place of this oh uh, dna have only h so this is your d oxy oxy ribose deoxy ribose sugar okay this is deoxy ribose sugar and this is ribose ribose sugar because here there is no oxygen so we can delete the oxygen from the SV this is your deoxy ribose sugar okay so if we if we draw a ribose sugar or the pentose sugar it is like this okay this is like this and sorry here we can say this is your carbon number one let me just label it this is carbon number one this is carbon number one this is carbon number two this is carbon number three this is carbon number four and this is carbon number five okay so that is why we can say that this sugar is a pentose pentose sugar it is a pentose sugar and the name of the sugar is ribose ribose okay yes so these are the few things that we have learned about uh, the dna or we can say the nucleic acid uh, and the rnas also okay so let's learn a few things so yes Genetic material is a hereditary substance in the cell. It carries all information specific to an organism. Yes, because now we have seen that. For example, we can write here. For example, this is rat, right? And this is dog. This is a cell of rat. This is a cell of dog. This is a cell of rat. This is a cell of rat. This is a cell of dog. So, this both cell have genetic material, right? But this genetic material. Is very specific for rat, whereas this genetic material is very specific for dog. Why? Because you know, because of this genetic material only, this rat is able to be a rat, right? Uh, I mean, the characteristic feature that we see today in this rat, it is all because of what genetic material. And the another thing is that about the genetic material, it is yeah, this genetic material has to pass down from generation to generation. Let's say this is first generation of rat, and this is second generation of rat, and this is third generation of rat. This is third generation of rat. So you know, this genetic material. If it is a genetic material, then it has to pass down from generation to generation, from generation to generation. So this is your uh, genetic material passing down the line of uh, this thing, generation, and this is your, this is your, what, uh, genetic material, and this genetic material is again passing down to the third generation. So this is in this way that the genetic material has to uh, travel down, or we can say it has to pass down from one generation to the other. Okay, if that organism has to continue, you know, uh, their species, then it has to pass down. Okay, so yes. And the other thing is, you're, you're during uh, during reproduction, the genetic information is passed down from generation to generation. Yes, uh, it plays a fundamental role in determining the structure and the and, uh, mature nature of cell substances, and it is capable of cell, cell propagating and variation. Yes, exactly. Uh, you know this this uh, genetic material. You know it is the main thing, right? It is the main. Uh, we can say the main determining factor that determines everything about the uh, species or the type of cell, anything like that. Okay, and you know this genetic material has to have this capacity to undergo what variation, and we will see in um, in future videos that you know how this genetic material uh, have or gain the variation. Okay, that is the another topic. But here, we are seeing the genetic material's basic concept. Okay, so DNA, right? DNA is primarily a genetic material in almost all living organisms. It is more stable due to the double-stranded and presence of deoxyribose sugar and thymine as a nitrogen base. Okay, one thing is that the DNA have double-stranded. This is double-stranded structure. So DNA is this. Okay, DNA it is made up of nucleotide. In fact, it is made up of polynucleotide. Poly nucleotide polynucleotide okay polynucleotide and dna has two chains of polynucleotide which is like you know uh, helically coiled okay so this is your dna because of this only uh, this is another reason why dna is more stable than rna whereas in case of rna there is only one strand okay there is one, only one strand and in dna due to the presence of two uh, double strand due to the, uh, sorry due to the presence of two uh, this polynucleotide chain they have this 
hydrogen bonding also okay this is another reason why dna is more stable than rna okay so let's talk about the rna uh, in some viruses like tobacco mosaic virus uh, coronavirus act as a genetic or coronavirus act as a genetic material okay yes as we have already said uh, that you know uh, as i've already told you all that uh, in some cases as I've already told you all that in some cases, RNA also acts as a uh, genetic material. So in some viruses like tobacco mosaic viruses, corona, uh, coronaviruses. So in this type of viruses, in these viruses, you know, this RNA can act as a genetic material. RNA is less stable, meaning RNA is what? More, re uh, more reactive. Yes, RNA is more reactive. RNA is more reactive due to the single strand. Yes, this strand due to this strand and the presence of ribose sugar and the uracil. Yes, the ribose sugar because, you know, because the ribose sugar, the uh, 2 dash OH. We can say that 2 dash oxygen is this oxygen is very very reactive is very very reactive so because of that you know um, because of that this rna is very very reactive than dna because the uh, in case of dna dna ke pass oxygen nahi hai okay so yes uh, and uh, presence of ribose and uracil instead of thymine okay so uracil malab thymine ke place par wahan par honge uracil is liye uracil is very uh, reactive base so isko bhi hum aane wale lectures mein kahin par cover karenge but abhi ke liye you know uracil is more reactive than thymine that is why this is another reason why rna is more reactive than dna okay so let's talk about now nucleotide and nucleosides so if you talk about the nucleotide nucleoside nucleoside is only made up of what nucleoside is only made up of sugar and nitrogenous nitrogenous base nitrogenous base okay so this is your end link glycosidic bond so see uh, the example of nucleosides are uh, uridine thymidine cytidine okay adenosine and guanosine so I mean, if you place uracil in place of this uh, nitrogenous base, then it, it will become what? Uridine. If you place uh, thymine in the place of this nitrogenous base, then it becomes your thymidine and so on with this cytidine, adenosine and guanosine. Okay. So if you talk about the nucleotides, we have what? Sugar. We have sugar. We have nitrogenous base and we have phosphate. We have phosphate. So this is your nucleotide. And talking about nucleotide, if you place, uh, you know, uracil in this uh, uh, area, then it will become what? Uridylic acid. In the same way, thymidylic acid. If you place thymine in there, uh, cytidylic acid. If you place cytidine in there, uh, and cytosine there. If you place uh, adenine, then it will become what? Adenylic acid. It will, uh, if you place uh, guanine, then it will become guanylic acid. So these are your nucleotides and nucleo. Okay. So I hope you understood this topic. If you haven't understand any point. Uh, regarding this uh, concept then please comment down below and we will meet in the next video thank you